Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to Little Squeak Junior. Little Squeak Junior. I just woke her up. She was sleeping inside of her little blue house, but I woke her up. Now, yesterday I mentioned how Mama Squeak, her mom, has a longer sort of rodent face, and so doesn't have that young look. Now, I figured that one of the reasons she looks so cute, she's a cutie, Look toward the camera there, you little cutie. Is because if you look on the side, her face is more stubby. She has a shorter snout, not a longer snout. Now, the reason that looks so cute to human beings is of a, a study known as neoteny, which is human beings like things that look like babies. Except we like things that look like babies to a point that it's really kind of disturbing. Mickey Mouse used to look like an adult mouse. Mickey Mouse, now our Mickey Mouse that's splattered everywhere, has all the features of a baby mouse. Short snout, big ears, big eyes, all those baby features. That's Neoteny. She is cute because she has a stubby face. A more baby-like face. So she looks cuter because of that. Now if you take a look at all of our cartoon animals that we use as mascots and stuff, take a look at them. Take a look at how many of them retain features of youth and babies with the short faces, the smooshed faces, and the bigger eyes and the bigger ears. Take a look at that. All of our stuff has that in the United States. We really push that because it hits buttons inside of people. And so we modify all of our stuff to do that. And it's not really healthy. But there you go. It's 6.52 a.m. It is Sunday, the 24th of September. And yeah, I still need to talk to my housemates again. I talked to my one housemate once via text. And I know that I've, I've got to talk to them. I mean, I mean, literally, I have no money. I pay my rent. I have no money. They pay the, the, about a third of what I do. And I pay, like, more than I make on this side. And so it's like, wham! I have no money ever. They have some. They don't have a lot. We don't make a lot of money. In fact, I, what I gross... And see, gross is what you make altogether. Net is what you make after taxes and stuff. I gross with my net more than they net from their gross. Not by much, but still, it's like there's their amount, here's what I take in. But what we pay is they pay like this and then I pay like this. So, the thing is... Even just the one text thing I did, oh boy, it would have been a screaming match if uh, it had been face to face. I'm not looking forward to that at all, ever. I keep avoiding the subject because I'm a doormat. I hate conflict. It makes me physically ill. I have welcome tattooed across my back because I am a doormat. I will gladly suffer great indignities rather than have any form of conflict. So I'm not looking forward to this, but already, I'm like, right now, I'm more than minus 300 in my checking. So when my $1,200 shows up for my disability, boom, I'm going to be like 800 bucks. My rent's 1000 So I'm going to be minus 200 right then. And then I've got a $200 storage unit, and I've got to get emptied out, but... I don't know how because I can't get anyone to help. And I don't have, I mean, in comments, people say things like, you know, talk to the people in churches and all that. I don't go to churches. I don't go to out and see people. I've got, I'm damn near agoraphobic. I don't like going out. I mean, I walk everywhere, but I walk where there aren't people. And when I have to walk where there are people, whenever I get closer to people, because my social anxieties are so bad, I stare at the ground. That's the only reason that I can go out and walk, because I'm looking down and I'm not focusing on anyone else around me. I'm basically pretending I'm walking through an apocalypse and I'm by myself. It, I don't like my social anxieties, but they're largely controlling. I push out against them as much as I can. I walk as much as I can. I mean, I literally walk 
anywhere from two to four hours daily. Largely just because I'm bored, nothing to do, so I get up and I walk. But I walk where there's no people. I walk through woods, I walk back roads, I walk where I don't have to deal with people. I don't hate people, I don't fear people, I like people, I like talking to people, I like people. It's a good thing. My social anxieties since the death of my wife though, I mean, I realize that they're here and I'm fighting against them. I'm trying to be as healthy as I can mentally and physically. But there's only so far you can push before you've gone, you know, from pushing your your safety envelope to diving through it and crashing into the, you know, stakes and mud and pain. And I'm not going to do that. So I'm pushing by walking instead of just staying here and not seeing anybody. But I don't know anyone. I don't have any friends. I mean, even my housemates I rarely interact with. I spend most of my day up here by myself, alone. I don't interact with people a lot. So I don't know. I mean, going to a church, I'm not a churchgoer. I've got my own spiritual beliefs and things, but I am not an organized religious believer. I've got a lot of issues with Christianity. I've got a lot of issues with every religion. I It's like, take a look at every religion on earth that there has been through history and then compare it to every religion that's on the face of the planet now that people believe in. The only difference between the ones that people don't believe in and the ones we believe in now is we just believe in them now. and that's all. No one religion has the answer on the face of our planet. Sorry to uh, offend people, that's my personal views. As stated, I have my own spiritual beliefs and I would never disparage anybody else's as long as you don't try to impact anybody else's lives. In the United States we've got a big problem with the Christian church saying, you know, our, we don't want to affect anyone, so you shouldn't affect our lives. But while you're not affecting our lives, make sure that you don't use drugs, you don't drink, you don't have sex, you don't do this, and if you do, we're going to go out and we're going to petition and make laws and we're going to get you put away. But don't please push against us, because that's religious oppression. So that's nasty here, and you gotta fight that, and I hate that. I hate organized religion, especially with what's going on here in the U.S. where it has nothing to do with Christianity. The Christian church. Right now, they don't teach what Jesus taught. No, 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 no. The big thing in the United States with all of our churches is they preach Jesus' birth, they preach Jesus' death. Because if you do those two things, you don't have to preach about his teachings. In fact, you just ignore everything that he taught and said so that you can focus on his birth, his death, and then say, yes, yeah, send us money. Send us money. So that's the state of organized religion in the United States. It mostly seems to be just a scam. There are people, of course, that have a real belief and real honest belief. And they do their best to help people. No matter what you may think of the Church of Latter-day Saints, of you know, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the Mormon Church, no matter what you may think of Mormons and the Church, and there's a lot that's negative. And I say that as a baptized Mormon. Yep, in 2004, I and my wife were baptized Christian in the, in the uh, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And yes, Mormons are Christians. <laughs> but no matter what you may say against Mormons and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, they take things like service quite seriously. A lot of people in churches just pay lip service. No, the Mormons that I have known and the Mormons in churches, they look for reasons to go out and do service. When they send out the, uh, oh, what is the word? The, the missionaries. 
missionaries, when they go out to talk about the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, one of the other things that they do while they're being annoying and talking about all this stuff is they say, is there anything we can do to help? And then if you say, could you help me do this? They'll say, we'll be there on that day. And they will show up and they will do what they said to do. If you said, I'm having trouble getting my lawn mowed, can you help me with that? They'll show up on Saturday with lawn mowers and a couple people to help and they'll mow your lawn. I have had people from the Mormon church back just after my wife died when the Mormon church was still interested in me. Bad story on that one. They actually helped to do some cleaning up. That was really nice. Unfortunately, unfortunately, three years ago when my wife died, we had a memorial for her up in the town that she lived in, Blaine, Washington, right up on the Canadian border. I went, of course, to my memorial for my wife, but the bishop of the church here in town came up too spoke at the memorial, said, you're going to be seeing me a lot. And that's the last I ever saw of anyone from the church. I've not heard from anybody. So as much as I just talked up the Mormon church, uh, as soon as they said, wow, your wife has died, you're going to be seeing us a lot because we want to make sure you're going to be okay. I haven't even seen a missionary since. So, yay. So, yeah, I don't even have the Mormon church to come in and help me do stuff like the box. Unless I went in to talk to them, but I don't even want to do that because of my social anxieties, my beliefs about organized religion and all that. So, I don't know. I don't know. I got to do something. So, maybe I'm just going to talk myself into it anyway. Because I got to do something. Literally, I can't pay for my my storage unit this month. I'm minus 300. That's going to take me to at least only $900. My rent is 1,050, so that's minus 100. And then my storage unit is going to take it to minus 300. And then, if that was only all of it, that would be fine. But I've got stuff like my car insurance that comes out. That comes out toward the end of the month. That's 45 bucks, which means it's another 20 bucks on top of that. For my $45 insurance becomes $75. I have a whole bunch of little minor things like that, that that come out toward the end of the month when I'm already negative. And my bank, my credit union, not my bank, will honor your money up to minus $500 with a $28 transaction fee per transaction. So they cover me, but I go negative with huge penalties and fees again. It's so like I said, I need to talk to my housemates, but I don't want to be screamed at. And I know that's how it's going to end. Oh well. Life is life, isn't it? Again, if anybody has an organized religious belief, that's fine. My opinions are only my opinions. I am not a great purve purveyor, a great speaker of truth. I do not have a pipeline to the infinite. I don't get any extra knowledge from anything. I do not profess to know any more than anyone else. This is all my opinion. That's all. In opinions, well, now to demonetize this one. Uh, well, it's opinions are like buttholes. Everybody's got one, and most of them stink. Yeah, I, I'm, it doesn't matter what I talk about. It's going to be demonetized. They might, so far, I'm batting a thousand. They demonetize 100% of every... Well, no, that's not true. They demonetize 98.99% of everything I do. Occasionally... A, a game video will slip through and be monetized. Everything else gets demonetized, and then when people are done watching them so that I don't get paid for them, they remonetize. Well, thanks for remonetizing now that no one watches, because they'll demonetize, I'll get 200 views, they'll remonetize, and then over the next couple months, I'll get like 10 views, and then no more. 
sound business practice. They don't have to pay their creators if they demonetize everything. Well, now what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to open up 24 hours worth of comments on my community tab. I hope there it is. It's Chrome. I had to call it Chrome. I'm going to thank 20 to 25 people as soon as I open up 24 hours worth of comments. I'm going to thank, uh, well, like I say, 20 to 25. And it's a range because I lose track while counting. I have literally seen my scout, myself count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'm going to thank 20 to 25 people. If you would like a shout out, just to ask for it. If I catch it, you will get it. I mispronounce names horribly. I'm an American English speaker. We're horrible at names. I'm better than I thought I was, but not good. So I did not see any, but first off, there is Gab Laza. Thank you so very, very much. And uh, Liddy Tiddy. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Mateus Bulger, greatly appreciated. Harley Quinn 2K, well, 2000, but still, thank you very, very much. And Mista Weezy, <laughs> heck of a name, thank you very, very much. 8749 Crystal, thank you very much. Good to see you in comments again. I miss you when you're not here. Supreme Range, thank you very, very much. My Weird Pikachu, thank you very much. Cool name. B Carp, thank you very, very much. Muse Doom, greatly appreciated. Harold Volden, thank you very, very much. Leah Garcia, thank you. OG2D, thank you very, very much. I think I'm too far over like this way, but I can't tell. I think I'm, I'm neurotic. Um, let's see, Nerdzilla FTW, thank you very, very much. And Eric Huang, thank you, greatly appreciated. Joe Yakesh 99 I hope I'm close. And Patrick Wagoner, thank you, greatly appreciated. Curse, with looks like a smiley face? Or, no, it's not a smiley face, that's like a a symbol of some language, but I don't know what it is, but thank you very, very much. Zane Lumpkin, <laughs> heck of a name, thank you. Alessa Taverna, thank you very, very much. Al William Allen, not Alan William, thank you. Senior Craw, thank you very, very much. Bottle Cap with a K, thank you, greatly appreciated. Dr. Jones, thank you, greatly appreciated. And then last but not least, Elf Kiss Me PL, son of a gun, I'm very glad you're back, thank you. Well, very good, thank you so much. I did not read any of the comments for any of the people I just thanked. Whether it was a good comment, a bad comment, or a different comment, I'm going to, you know, uh, no, I'm misstepping what I was saying. They are all equal in my eyes. Thank you so much for having left a comment. I'm not reading the comments now. I'm going to read them afterwards. Thumbs up every comment. Answer as many as I can. I just don't read them while I'm thanking people. On purpose, and I occasionally accidentally do. I don't say greetings anymore and in an effort to keep my videos monetized. I don't know if it works. I don't know if it don't work. Doesn't work. Boy, I'll speak English now. You know, but bom dia. I thank you so much, everybody who's not an American English speaker or person who lives in our tiny, tiny country here. Thank you so much for watching. It is greatly appreciated. I had started out with a huge amount of Brazilian watchers and fans. Thank you so much. I still have a large amount of Brazilian fans. It is greatly appreciated. If you could check out my links down below, that would be greatly appreciated. I love the word appreciated, apparently. I need to find a new, a new word. But that would be awesome. I've got like Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, Google Plus, and my blog. Haha. -ha. Very awesome. If you could check those out. My thanks to everybody who's donated to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron. Thank you so much to each one of my Patreon.com patrons. You are beautiful, awesome people. If it hadn't been for you and everybody who has donated, I wouldn't be here in this house. I live on the very edge of homelessness. And it's not fun. And thank you so much for keeping me homed, home, housed, and fed. And if you cannot donate or you do not donate, if I take all good wishes, deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. If you could toss me a like, that would be very cool. I do appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be very cool. But my personality has rubbed people wrong my entire life. I've gotten used to going, hi, and gotten back, no, to hell with you. That's happened my whole life. So if you don't like my videos, I understand. If you don't want to subscribe to the channel, I understand. But if you're down with it, I'll do my darndest to keep you entertained from now until a very long time from now. After all, I'll slap a few coats of sealant on you, stack you like cordwood down in the basement. You'll last for decades before you go sour. And hey, especially in hard economic times, a guy has to eat. Cannibalism for the win.
though I have never eaten a full human being yet. I have a reaction video coming up, I have a game video coming up, hopefully some game videos on my game channel. So you take care, I will see you on the flip side, and that my friend is a very good thing.